What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Forever Myra J, back with another video. This video is about a famous TikToker by the name of Swavy, uh, whose real name was Matima Miller. He was 19 years old. Um, he just passed this past Monday on July the 5th due to an apparent gunshot wound. Uh, and Wendy Williams is actually under fire for making comments um, on a segment of her show talking about the TikToker's death. Uh, before she started to talk about his death, she started to talk about how many followers he had. I mean, the segment began to get very bizarre. I'll let you guys take a look at the clip um, and the audience reaction once she told the audience that he had passed. Here it is. Okay. I have no idea who this is. Neither does Norman. Neither does one person in this building. Maybe Sus does. Uh, do you know who <laughs> Swavy is? Clap. Clap if you know who Swavy is. Okay. Sus? Nah, it's not my, it's not my cup of tea <laughs> that I got going on right now. Well, he's a TikTok star. He's got more followers than me. 2.5 million. Oh. On TikTok. <laughs> on TikTok, but on Instagram, you have more followers. Well, as my son Kevin would say, no one uses Instagram anymore. What? And as, <laughs> as far as TikTok, I don't use that at all. Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't want to be involved. <laughs> so here he is. He's 19, and he was murdered Monday morning. Now, according to our friends at MediaTakeout.com, hi, Fred, the killer confessed on Instagram Live. He said that Swavy invited him out and alleges that Swavy and the friends that were with Swavy jumped him and tried to kill him. So he had a gun and did the killing. So... Somebody's dead. Um, the guy who was invited over, he's dead. Yeah, Swavy is, yeah, dead. Swavy is now dead. Correct. Oh. Mm. All those Tragedy. followers. Yeah, that's really tragic. Only 19 years old. And by the way, the, um, the friend who came over was an admitted drug dealer. No one in custody. They'll probably never catch anyone, you know. Another one of those stories. Mm. I really would like to know who is responsible for writing her hot topics to discuss because they are definitely the reason why she is going downhill. First, Wendy did not know Swavy, so why is he a hot topic? That he has more followers than you? And to present it to your audience in the manner that you did before saying that he died from a gunshot wound for laughs and giggles, I thought that that was very heartless and ignorant. For Norman to co-sign and laugh, knowing this young African-American boy has lost his life, that was pretty ridiculous to me. And you can tell that her audience felt bad for laughing about not knowing him and comparing followers on the social media platforms. And then after she told them that he had passed, they gasped and you could hear a pin drop on set. That's how quiet it was. Now, Wendy is in her 13th season and a lot of people are pretty tired of her antics and remarks. Many people are calling for her show to be off air, no more, discontinued, okay? I do believe um, her ratings and her views will um, eventually go down and dwindle and then Wendy will be off air pretty soon. I'm pretty sure this is gonna happen really, really soon. Um, and I'm just gonna blame Norman, okay? Because he's handing her the scripts or she's reading the teleprompter. He's feeding her that, that news on the side and laughing with her. And I just, I blame Norman for everything. So Swavy's family did start a GoFundMe for him. Uh, that GoFundMe got up to $20,000. Um, after Wendy talked about him on her Hot Topics, it went to 23000 okay? So Wendy is out here just talking about popular influencers that she has no idea about, apparently, and giving them a lot of promo, okay? Now, they did shut down his um, TikTok account, and his family was asking that you guys please uh, send TikTok messages to have it um, reset. 
So I did go over to TikTok and I actually found him now and he has 3.1 million followers and his account is back up and running. So if you guys want to go over there and follow him and take a look at his videos, please do that. He has a lot of like dancing videos and funny videos that you can watch. But she actually helped him gain a couple more uh, million followers by talking about him on her show. Um, and here's a clip of his mom and his family talking about him. So I'll play that for you guys as well. I to lay there with my son. <laughs> and I asked God, like, why did you let me see that? And I had to think about it. Like, he wouldn't want nobody else in the world to be down there with him but his mom. I had to see my son down there shot up. To see something like that as a mother, it, it mentally messes you up. And I know what I have to do, but like I said, I could be in somebody's mental institution right now. I'm trying to gather my thoughts and stuff so I can do this for him. And this, it just hurt because like Wendy Williams, how as a mother, how do you put a child out there like that? Nobody knew him like that. I mean, he was online, he was popular online, but like he was going to spread his wings by himself. He was in the background waiting for him to blow. Mentally going through because I've seen it. I've seen my son shot down in the street like that. Bullets in him. Y'all don't know what I'm going through. As a mother, Wendy Williams, how dare you? So disrespectful. I used to watch you as a child growing up, even though you got a God stuff show and all that. You didn't even know my son. All right, guys, so you heard what um, Swavy's mother, Chanel Clark, had to say. And it's pretty unfortunate that uh, she lost her son uh, due to gun violence. And this incident happened in Wilmington, Delaware. And it's just sad and unfortunate that we keep losing our young black kings uh, to gun violence against each other. And for Norman to be the supervising producer of the show, you would actually think that he knows better than to hand her a script of someone who she knows nothing about. Let's just laugh that he has more followers than me. And who is this guy? We don't know him. But it's actually not even a laughing matter. It's not anything to make a mockery of. Someone lost their life. And his family has to sit back and seek justice for him while the world watches Wendy make a mockery of his death. Let me know how you guys feel about this situation. Leave me a comment, like this video, and subscribe to my channel. And definitely share this video out to someone who you may think may like this video or know who Swavy was. Rest in peace, King.